Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to discuss about tirades scoring. There are five different components in tirades scoring. First component is composition. So this is the image of the completely cystic thyroid lesion. And this is the image of the spongiform thyroid lesion. So both, for both of these lesions, we give zero points because these are the features of the benign thyroid lesion. Remember, if the thyroid lesion is completely cystic or if the thyroid lesion is spongiform, we give zero points. So this is the mixed cystic lesion. Here we can see this is the cystic space and this is the solid lesion. This is the image of the mixed solid and cystic lesion. So if we see this type of the image, then we give one points. Mixed solid and cystic, one point. Cystic component with solid parts, this is one point. So here in this uh, image, we can see this is almost completely solid because there are few cystic spaces but the majority of the thyroid lesion is made of solid component. Here in this example, this is completely solid lesion. So completely solid lesion or almost completely solid lesion, we give two points. Okay, this is for two, two points is for solid lesion. Mixed solid cystic, one point. Completely solid or almost completely solid lesion, two points. Another component is ecogenicity. If the thyroid lesion is anechoic, anechoic means cystic, then we give zero points. If the thyroid lesion is hyper or isoechoic, this is the hyper echoic lesion, or if the thyroid lesion is isoechoic, if the echogenicity of the thyroid lesion is equal to that of the normal thyroid gland, then we give one point. Remember, hyper or isoechoic lesion, one point. But if the thyroid lesion is hypoechoic like this, then we give two points because you know, uh, Hypoechoic lesion is a feature of malignant thyroid lesion. So here in this uh, image, we can see the thyroid lesion is very hypoechoic. So how we can say this is very hypoechoic and hypoechoic? If the ecogenicity of the thyroid lesion is less than that of the muscles. So this is the normal muscles. So these are the strep muscles in front of the thyroid gland. If the ecogenicity of the thyroid lesion is less hypoechoic than that of the near uh, that of muscles, then this is called very hypoechoic. And very hypoechoic lesion is highly suspicious for malignancy. So remember, hyper iso 1 point, hypo 2 points, and very hypoechoic 3 points. Another is shape. So here in this image, we can see this lesion is taller than wider. Okay, so if the lesion is taller than wider, then we give 3 points. But if the lesion is wider than taller, if it is more wider than taller, then we give 0 points. So taller than wider is a feature of malignant lesion. We give three points for that. Another important component is margin. Smooth margin like this and ill-defined margin like this is a feature of benign lesion and we give zero point for this type of lesions. So, but in this image, we can see the thyroid lesion is lobulated. So if the thyroid lesion is irregular or if the thyroid lesion is lobulated, then we give two points. But if the thyroid lesion has extra thyroidal extension, then we have to give three points. Here in this image, there is some exophytic growth. We can appreciate that. But the thyroid margin, we can clearly appreciate in this image. So this is the example of exophytic growth. We can see the thyroid gland has some growth in its interior aspect. But there is no frank invasion because we can appreciate the margin of the thyroid gland. So if the margin of the thyroid gland is poorly visualized, then only we have to give three points. Another important component is ecogenic foci. So if there is large cometal artifact like this, uh, we give zero points. But if there is macro calcification, here we can see there is macro calcification. For this type of lesion, we give one points. If there is peripheral rim calcification, here we can see on the peripheral side of the lesion, there is calcification. If there is peripheral or rim calcification, we give two points. If there is punctured ecogenic foci like this, then we give three points because punctured ecogenic foci like this is a feature of malignancy. So if we see this type of the lesion, we have to give three points. On moving uh, downward, we give more points. We calculate points for each of these five different components and we add all of these points. So on adding all of these points, if the total point is zero, then this is called TR1 and it is benign and we don't need any FNAC. If the total point is 2, then this is called TR2. TR2 is also benign and we don't need any FNAC. So if we get 3 points, 
then this is called TR3. And some uh, if the patient has TR3, then this is the mildly suspicious thyroid lesion. And if the size of the TR3 is if the size of the lesion is more than 2.5 centimeter, then we have to do FNAC. If the size is less than 2.5 centimeter, then we have to do follow-ups. If we get the four to six points, then this is classified as TR4, and this is the moderately suspicious thyroid lesion. And in TR4, if the size of the lesion is more than 1.5, we do FNAC, and if it is more than one one centimeter, then we generally follow up the patient. And if we get the seven or more points, then this is called TR5, and this is highly suspicious for thyroid malignancy. And if the lesion is more than one centimeter, then we do FNAC, and if the lesion is more than or equal to 0.5 centimeter, then we follow up the patient.